Uh, thank you everyone uh, for participating in the meeting. I'm gonna give an overview of uh, progress in the work plan uh, and uh, begin the discussion of what our priorities will be. Uh, uh, here, this is a slide summarizing the number of uh, uh, doses used uh, in 2021. As you can see, uh, uh, the, <clears throat> this is the highest number we've used uh, in the past decade. Uh, uh, about almost half of it, or a little over half of it, went to the ICG versus uh, uh, the, the uh, task force or the OCB working group uh, use. Uh, I would give an update on our priorities and plans to, for 2020 through 21. Uh, we had a, on our work plan to develop a criteria for uh, OCB prioritization. The uh, updated, uh, we'd have updated plans for guidance that will be developed in two, two, 2022. Uh, with integration of uh, OCB plans with uh, national collar plans is on track and ongoing. <laughs> we have implementation of uh, plan campaigns. Uh, in 2021, we had uh, seven countries implemented their plan campaigns and there's ongoing work to uh, continue this. And then their collaboration uh, with CSP and Gavi is on track and ongoing. Uh, CSP is importing, uh, supporting plan, plan campaigns in Mozambique, DRC, and Zambia with hotspot identification uh, uh, and development of OCV requests. Uh, the other uh, priorities for 2021 include collaboration with the task force uh, working groups. We've been working with the uh, surveillance working group uh, ongoing for hotspot identification. Uh, WASH working group for integrated uh, campaigns. Uh, we intended to work on uh, developing an adequate M&E system, monitoring and evaluation. Uh, we're kind of late in getting to that. We have uh, updated plans to include this as part of our sub teams for the task force in quarter two of 2022. And there's an ongoing uh, research agenda uh, and we have launched a, a research tracker on the GFTCC, GTFCC uh, website. Our priorities, I think, ha will be discussed during the course of this workshop, but uh, it, they would include in terms of implementation, uh, implementing plan campaigns in six countries uh, listed there, Bangladesh, DRC, Ethiopia, Mozambique, Nigeria, and Sudan. We want to recruit two consultants to uh, uh, strengthen the OCB emergency response uh, capacity and utilize our TCA funds uh, for OCB implementation. We plan to develop technical guidance for training, uh, including a training package uh, for ministries to, to, to use to prepare and organize, monitor and evaluate campaigns and got guidance for the allocation of OCB for planned use in uh, cholera hotspots. We want to expand the composition of the working group to, to include three sub teams to develop these technical uh, documents and have uh, more specific uh, OCB meetings in the course of the year on those specific topics. Uh, we would like to develop a public dashboard on OCB implementation and then do a comprehensive review of the uh, use of OCB from 2000. Uh, 13 through 2021. Uh, during the course of this uh, workshop, uh, this is an overview of our agenda. Uh, we're planning to do an up first, uh, we'll start with update on outbreaks and uh, emergency campaigns uh, conducted in 2021, discuss the country challenges and what the G GTFCC can do to reduce delays. Uh, we'll be as, uh, on the tomorrow. We'll be discussing demand forecast and supply, and and uh, making an update on our plan campaigns. Uh, we can discuss the impact of uh, usage from the manufacturer's perspective, and, and um, the difficulties countries face to plan campaigns and hotspots, and discuss the uh, what the uh, OCV working group. Uh, working group could do to uh, encourage more campaigns and balance the demand for emergency outbreak response versus hotspot or preemptive campaigns. And then we'd like to end up with a roadmap on uh, third day of cholera research and, and uh, uh, 
in the, and partner updates. These are the membership the members of our working group and uh we th thank everybody for their participation and making this an active uh, working group th throughout the course of the year thank you